hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet Ajele. i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well so as you can see i have my nicely washed chicken and i'm going to add some salt and boiling hot water i'll then cover it up and allow it to sit for three to five minutes and you will see why in well right now <laughs> So, um, because I can really parboil my chicken, this is how I like to do it, which helps me to take off any excess feather and skin that they weren't able to take off because I absolutely love this part of the chicken, but um, I don't eat it from everywhere because I don't know how they've cleaned it, but this is how I do it to get rid of anything that I don't want to be eating okay and this is what the hot water does to the chicken it helps you to be able to get rid of all of these um yellowish skin that's usually at the is that the knuckle i don't know but if you want to see how i clean and wash my chicken before doing this process i'll leave a link to my fried chicken recipe in the description box so do check that out because i do that from the beginning but i promise you you're absolutely going to love this method because not only will it clean your chicken very well it's not gonna cook it so don't worry it might look like it's beginning to cook but it won't yes that's our baby girl um she's in the kitchen too and because this is like a um cook with me i was going to make it short but then i thought why don't i share this part with you all because i know most of you are new and you have not seen my fried chicken recipe so yes i got rid of all that and now i'll quickly rinse it with cold water to stop any cooking process and we'll be on our way So because this is soft chicken, I like to marinate it overnight. If you're using the regular hard chicken that we like to use for chicken stew, then skip this part, but this is very important. So I now put it in a pot and I'll season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, chicken seasoning and some rosemary I'll then mix it very well put it in my bowl and keep it in my refrigerator overnight or you can do this before leaving in the morning for work so by the time you will come it will marinate very nicely um, if you put this on the stove to steam it like that it's going to fall apart without the taste um, totally penetrating the chicken so this method you cannot skip this when you're making soft chicken stew all right so now that this is done I'm going to cover it up and leave it in my refrigerator overnight so this is the next day and I'm dicing up some onions to bring freshness back into my chicken and I'm using half of a medium onion. I'll also be adding two of my spice blend cubes and we'll go ahead and add that to the chicken and steam it, okay? So I'll put the chicken back in the pot and add the onions and spice blends to it and you want to use a wide pot because using a deep pot to steam your soft chicken will cause it to fall apart i then add a bit of water because the chicken will also release its own juices and you don't want too much water but you do need water because you don't want it sticking on the bottom and tearing up okay so we'll now allow this to steam nicely i then go ahead and add some salt i didn't add that yesterday because I didn't want it to be too salty and we'll be stirring it every three to five minutes while the chicken is still firm as soon as we feel it beginning to cook we'll turn the heat off and just cover it to sit for about 10 minutes before going ahead and frying it 
meanwhile i'll prep my other ingredients i have a large bell pepper a medium sized onion ginger and i'll just cut everything up um, with my canned tomatoes and four fresh tomatoes to make my tomato sauce because i no longer have my homemade tomato sauce so until i make another batch this is what i do okay you can add pepper to this if you like hot pepper you can add it at this point and it should be so so good so i'll just cut everything up and i'll go ahead and blend it and start up on my tomato sauce i also added four cloves of garlic and yeah i'm just going to make the sauce i'll cook this down until most of the water and the tomatoes dry out this will make my stew making process quick and also take um, the sourness out of my tomatoes So our tomato sauce is on the way and I'm going to cut up this large onion with some hot peppers and we're going to blend it to start up our stew. But please don't forget to keep checking back on your chicken and stirring it and ours is looking good and I absolutely love this wooden spoon. It is the best and it's cheap. <laughs> it's done now so we'll set it aside and heat up some oil to fry it and i'll be using coconut oil so i'm just going to go ahead and add my chicken to the oil and allow it to do its thing just like it's doing here and i went ahead to strain my stock and this is what i got out of it i'll add that to my pepper and onion to start up the stew and on the top right corner is the entrance into my guest bathroom that is where i went to wash my hand in my other vlog that i went to the garbage i never wash my hand in my kitchen sink when i come from outside i feel it's just nasty so that's what the bathroom is for so yeah i just wanted to clear that up <laughs> and look at our chicken banyan now wall oh it's looking so so good I mean it tastes good and you want to fry this until it is nice and firm so it does not fall apart in your stew on a medium low heat so it does not burn or you could fry it to the texture that you like it's also fine and it's done so I'm going to get it out of the oil and set it aside my tomato sauce at this point is also done so i'm just going to go ahead and turn off the heat and allow it to rest on the side and once we're ready we use it i then go ahead and strain my oil because we're ready to start our stew and we'll add our blended up uh, peppers and onion and the you know tasty stuff from the stock and we're going to fry this for about five minutes you want to fry it well jake beno shimi fine all right frying it well will help your stew taste really good and remember to stir periodically at this point i add some of my tasty tom tomato um paste this is not a sponsored video i just like it so that's what i'm using you can use any type of tomato sauce um i mean tomato paste of your choice and the best one to use is your homemade one yes it's absolutely delicious and we're going to fry that for an additional five minutes okay next i'll add my bay leaves and my shrimp powder this will ensure that my stew tastes good and i'll cook this for about three minutes next i'll add my tomato sauce and i'll stir it nicely and allow it to cook for an additional 10 minutes at this point our stew is doing well 
so I just got out my um, chicken stock from the refrigerator the same stock that I got out of um, steaming my chicken but I put it in the refrigerator to help it solidify a bit so I can skim off the oil I hate cooking with this oil this oil solidifies when it's cold so i don't know what it's going to do in my stomach it is animal fat it's totally optional but i like to do this i just usually don't show it in the video but yeah this is a cook with me so you get to see everything that i try to do behind the scenes and i'm just going to get rid of this oil it's not good at all mm -mm. <laughs> Then I'll go ahead and add the stock to the stew and allow it cook for about 10 more minutes before we go ahead and add in our chicken. So here's our chicken is ready for our stew. So we're just going to go ahead and add it into the stew. And as always, be sure to stir your stew because you do not want to waste your hard work. Also, I'll be having some sweet eating things with my chicken stew, which will be Kelly Willy. All right, y'all. Now, I already have an in depth tutorial on how I make my Kelly Willy recipe. So, if you haven't seen that yet, I'm going to leave a link in the description bar below. So, do check it out. You are going to absolutely love that recipe. It's very simple, but so, so delicious. So from the aroma I'm perceiving from this Kelly Willy, it is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the oil into my paper towel lined plate and allow it to cool and we will be ready to enjoy it. And here you have it. I like my darker, hubby likes his lighter. So yeah that's it <laughs> yes y'all the stew look like it is done and it is y'all it is done it tastes so so good i did not add any more salt because my stock was well seasoned and that's all that i needed but add your seasonings to your taste okay it is your food make it the way you like it now serve and enjoy just look at that isn't it calling your name in fact it says sweet team so your head up here as I dish out this rice head to my island let's eat together with our special guest being Gabe <laughs> So I'm just going to serve him and we're going to eat together. We cooked together y'all. So we have to eat together. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching. If you're a new subscriber, 
welcome to my channel this is sweet ajili thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini uche mi sweet mahabotu bye y'all What is this? Yeah, what's it? It's called a match game. Mm. I think it's like family feud.